traders. Hi, how are we all doing today? I just put the latest video up on you know how I'm seeing the markets and look it's been uh, pretty uneventful. You know the USD CAD hasn't moved a lot. There's been no uh, catalyst to drive things so that reflects in the price action and it's pretty stable and it's you know it's, as I would describe it still waters. It's calm. Uh, the market is sort of you know, it hasn't really moved much. Uh, well, there's been a little retrace on the majors because the US dollar has strengthened a little bit, but that hasn't really reflected yet in the uh, the Swissy or the Yen yet for me. And I'm sure the USD CAD as well. So I'll just check this. Okay, I am going to start this off, guys. First of all, we'll go through the stats. So we've got eight months to go with this pair. Um, and then I'll switch things over with a different uh, pair, probably uh, maybe the yen, maybe the USD yen. We're at 112 months processed, 15.92% uh, return, which is, you know, it steadily has climbed a little bit. Um, profit probability 62% and profit factor 1.8. So not, you know, I'm looking for that to be really well over two and 55 total trades. All right, so we'll switch to the daily. So it's broken down a little bit. I think I made an attempted trade from memory. Okay, so 112, we've got 114. All right, and it is pretty much six o'clock in the evening. Dinner soon. We are doing trade talk as well. Connor and I, Connor's back. He's had a bit of a hiatus with some stuff on. And I'll let him explain what happened if he wants to explain. So I did last week. Uh, and yeah, so trade talk will be later tonight. I'll, that will be up, um, 9.30 ish this evening, Perth time, probably earlier, actually nine o'clock. All right. So we've broken down a little bit, but the price action wasn't really, it wasn't really the best. I mean, that could have been a potential. I probably shouldn't have kept testing and, and, and talking. It's really collapsed here. All right, so how far is that? I like it to be at least three hundred, really. We'll take this trade, but I'm not, you know, oh, that's large. No. I'm canceling it. It's just too big. You know, like the, the take profit will be well below because it was like 348 between these two zones. So it's just inappropriate. And that would have been pretty cool because it would have triggered the stop me out. So that's not really the end of the world at all. Alright, so we want to see further breakdown. Wow. So I've done quite a bit of work here. Look at that. I mean, if you were just to buy in there and just buy, hold it, you know, you'd be, <laughs> you'd be laughing. But that's easier said than done. You know, that would require a special sort of investor, really. Okay. There it is. Oh, it's a big old level. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, that's tradable. Yeah.
big uh, wide stop loss there, which isn't too bad. We will have to adjust this. Um, 16 uh, equity and that's three everyone okay yeah. and then this one here trunks for it's already been pretty active pretty active Ah, so this one it might have really made the main move. Man, look at that. We might see a bounce here because that's quite a significant sustained downward move. And just with the nature of currencies, it tends to ebb and flow back and forth. So a good chance we're going to see a um, bit of a retrace potentially. I mean, this is again expected as well. You, you, what will happen is it will move up, down, or sideways. So we might be now entering into a phase of sideways movement. That's too close there. See, that's the beauty of going to the high time frame as well. <clears throat> I mean, yes, there was a bit of profit to be made, but that is not, you know, good profits. That is scalping and whatever. That That's not my system. So, you know, you just have to be willing to appreciate you can't win all the time when it comes to, you know, if this is too close, don't expect this to bounce up. And, you know, that would be a potential losing trade and make you feel good if you didn't take the trade. But sometimes it will just break down through, through a zone, you know. Because certain zones are more significant psychologically to the market than others as well. Okay. You know, like an 80 cent level for uh, the Aussie dollar, which is now floating around. And again, it got as high as 81 and a half as well, which is very significant. Now we've seen a bounce here as well. We've seen a bounce. It's a gorgeous day in Perth today. Gorgeous day in Perth. All right, so this is not, uh, you know, that wasn't really tradable because what I have to see is the 55 over the 200. I mean, it doesn't necessarily, I will if it's a really nice setup, but normally it's not when it's, you know, it's just the trend isn't developed enough. Okay, as you can see, you know, we're approaching a zone as well. The thing is, yeah, I'd say the main thing you do in trading is wait a lot and just you focus on it. Like, and you see what you like to see in your mind and has to project on the screen in front of you. And if it doesn't, you know, that you just can't just jump in impulsively. But that's going to end in a bit of tears. All right, this might be shaping up as a potential buy. I'm going to close it down, guys, here. That's too much. It was getting a little laggy as well. So, um, it, all right, so we'll see how this pans out, guys. 114 months. Um, there were two cancelled. There was one earlier on. I'll show that because that was sort of silly for me. I nearly ended the trade, but I didn't. And that was, you know, I was, it was too close to that support level for the sell. And the take profit was well below that. So that was a no-no. Anyway, longer session, guys. Nearly 10 minutes. Thank you for watching. I'll upload this straight away. Bye.